Hi everyone, this week's video is going to be a vlog. I'm vlogging every day this week, Monday to Friday. So I think I'm gonna do like short clips every day because I don't know how long this is gonna be. It's probably gonna be very long. But I thought it'd be really nice to show you what I get up to throughout the week because actually it's quite a busy week. This video is also sponsored by the guys at HelloFresh. I'm so excited to be working with them again. I had a little bit of a break during my first trimester, but I'm back and I can't wait to show you the meals that we're gonna be cooking this week. So I'm gonna be showing you my HelloFresh dinner tonight. And then, yeah, showing you what else I get up to every other day this week. I've actually got like a working from home day today. I had one meeting, but it got canceled and moved to Wednesday. So I've just been chilling at home and getting some work done. I've written a blog post all about our trip to Brighton yesterday. We had such a nice day. So if you wanna go read that, I will put the link to my blog down below. I also put up a couple of posts last week. So there's a few new posts on the blog if you wanna go have a read. Tonight, I've got pregnancy yoga. Um, I started at a new like local place and it's just really nice to have something to get out of the house and do on, on a Monday. Pregnancy yoga is hilarious. It's pretty much just napping. Like the last half hour is just lying there with a blanket on you and an eye mask and just napping. It is, it's unreal, it's amazing. But then there's a bit of stretching and stuff as well. And they kind of teach you how to breathe. And yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. Okay, it's now 6 p.m. I had a really good day of work. I felt quite tired today, um, which is unusual for me. And also very hungry compared to normal. So I'm thinking maybe that baby's having like a growth spurt or something. Because I've just kind of felt a bit like not my usual self. So I'm having dinner a bit earlier than normal. I'd say we normally eat about seven. But um, one, I'm hungry. <laughs> Two, I'm going to yoga. So I'm starting dinner, Rich is on his way back from work. So I'm gonna check out what our HelloFresh recipes are this week. I actually don't know because our box came yesterday and Rich unpacked it all. So I'm not actually sure what meals we have this week. Although I think I did pick them. Let me go get them out the larder. Okay, so the options are jerk, cauliflower nuggets, grilled turkey steak, or express chicken noodles. So as I said earlier, we paused our HelloFresh subscription um, for a little while. Whilst I was in my first trimester, I just couldn't really eat normally at all. Um, but that's a really good thing about HelloFresh is that you can pause it at any point and then reactivate your account. So that's what we did. I'm very happy to have it back, especially this week because we just have not had any time to even think about food shopping. It's just perfect because your box gets delivered to your house with your recipe cards and all the ingredients like pre-portioned so you have exactly what you need. And it also means for us that we have less waste because when we do a massive food shop, we always end up with stuff that we don't really need. I think there are 19 recipes you can pick from per week. We do three meals a week, which kind of works out perfect for us. We are just massive fans of HelloFresh in this house. It's so good for me and Rich to like enjoy together because sometimes I'll make a meal that I only I know how to cook. And then it means that if I'm tired that night or if I'm working like late, he doesn't really know how to cook it. So we know with HelloFresh recipes that we can both do it. It's just so easy, like the step-by-step -step guide and stuff. So it's really nice that we can like both do it together and just knowing that you know exactly what's going into your meal. You can make it all from scratch. And I feel like I learn something new every time. I think I want the express chicken noodles. You guys are always asking what my HelloFresh code is. So I have a new one for you guys. It's Fresh Lily, and that gets you 50% off your first and second box if you're new to HelloFresh. So it's a really good way to try it for the first time if you're not sure and you wanna test the waters. So here are all the ingredients I need for the meal tonight. Some spring onions, monge too, a lime, egg noodles, some peanuts, and then a couple of sauces as well. Apparently this meal should only take 20 minutes to cook, which is perfect because I'm starving. Okay, I finished cooking. This is what it looks like. Oh, let me find a good light for you. It's a very simple chicken stir fry. Sometimes we have meals that take a bit longer and are something I've never cooked before. Sometimes it's very easy, which is perfect for a Monday night when I have yoga. This smells delicious. I can't wait to eat it. Also, Rich has a sprinkling of peanuts on the top of his. Um, I chose not to have peanuts, but we've both got spring onions um, and a wedge of lime as well, which I squeezed a bit of the lime on top of it. <laughs> I just got back from yoga. I wanna show Rich the like funniest part of the yoga. So I thought I'd show you guys as well. This is the part that I thought if me and Jojo were pregnant at the same time, we would have absolutely pissed ourselves laughing throughout this whole time. I was trying so hard not to laugh. 
So we were like on all fours. And first of all, you have to move your hips in a circle. One of them you have to do it in a figure of eight, which is impossible. Figure of, I literally was like, can't remember what an eight looks like. Picture an eight. Oh man, which are plant. Um, okay, so you're putting your hips in a circle and you're going, you breathe, you breathe in through oh, your nose yeah. and you go, ooh, and then you go, ee. <laughs> and there's like eight of us going, ooh, ee. I thought if anyone walks into this room right now, they're going to think we're like an insane group of like birthing women. That was my evening. Good morning. It's Tuesday and I'm up bright and early. Done my hair and makeup because I'm going to film a video today. This is for not this week, but next week. Um, and it's going to be a style haul. I'm really excited to film this one actually. So I'm just going to set up. It shouldn't take too long. I just film everything on my vlogging camera these days um, because I find it much easier and I think the quality is fine. So I've just set up my clothes rail. This is from Wayfair um, and the clothes on it. And I've actually come into the little baby's room, which looks like this now. I will show you this room properly once we've done it. Um, we actually stuck on these little like decal stickers, I think they're called. Got them from our website in America. Wouldn't recommend them though because I had to pay for shipping. And they were quite expensive and I think there's a UK equivalent website. So I'll try and link it down below where you can get these wall stickers that peel off quite easily. Apparently, I haven't actually tried. I was going to do this anyway. I ordered these like a year ago. I was going to do this so I could film here. But then obviously this room's now becoming the baby's room, but I think it is really actually quite cute. So I'm gonna see if I can film. I haven't filmed in this corner before. I'm gonna give it a go. Yeah, I'll check in after I filmed. Okay, I finished filming. That wasn't too bad. And I tried on all the clothes, but now my bed is covered in clothes. So I think I'm gonna hang them all back up in my wardrobe. This is the current bed situation. <laughs> Okay, the plan now is to edit the video I just filmed, also start editing this vlog, and I've got to do some work emails, some other kind of work stuff, and I think my mum's popping over later with some of my peer box stuff, and then tonight I'm going out with Rich, so I'm going to get on and do some work. Okay, it's about five o'clock now, I've had a really good productive working day, and I'm going to start getting ready because I'm driving into town to meet Rich. Um, we're actually going to the theatre. We're going to the theatre tonight and tomorrow night. We never do this. Um, it's very exciting, but I'm going to drive because it will take me like an hour to get there, but I know when the kind of play finishes later, I'm not going to want to get on the tube, so it's worth it. Um, I think it's free parking after half six. Anyway, so we are going to see Fiddler on the Roof. I'm so excited. It's one of my all-time favourite films. I've seen it a million times. And my parents went to see it on stage. I didn't even know it was on and they said it was unbelievable. Rich has never seen the film, which I'm kind of gutted I didn't get to like show him the film first, but I think he's gonna really like it. He's gonna learn loads. The songs are amazing. I can't wait. I made it an hour journey, but I'm here and Rich is here. Just met him after work. We're gonna go, we're gonna go get the tickets and then we're gonna eat in this like food markety place. What's this place called? Flat Iron Square. Flat Iron Square. It's like a cool little indoor food market. Last time we came here, it was so packed. I'm gonna go for pad thai because I am so predictable. This is so good. Rich has gone for a burger and fries. Oh my god, they're like curly fries. Yeah. Yum. That burger is massive. What's in it? Chicken. Oh my god, that was so great. That was probably one of the best theatre productions I've ever seen and I've seen a lot of stuff in the theatre. I, I don't know whether it's because I know and love the film and the songs so well but Rich has never seen the film and he really loved it as well. It was so good. It's completely sold out so it's kind of useless me telling you but there are rumours that it's going to go to the West End eventually. It won't be as good as it was like in the round because we were front row. We literally felt like we were in it especially when they were doing all the like Israeli dancing and stuff. It was so good but when it goes to the West End I would highly recommend it. So so good. Well, this is exciting. It Cosmetics have brought out a fair light shade in their CC cream. So I normally use light, but actually during the winter, it's a little bit too dark for me. So I normally mix in some fair, which is like far too pale for me, but they've brought out a fair light. I haven't tried it yet, I'm about to, but looking at the colors in the tube, it looks a little pink, which I'm a bit disappointed at. I wish it was like a fair light kind of neutral shade. Let me swatch all three on the back of my hand to show you guys. Okay, so the one on the left is fair, the one in the middle is light, and then the one on the right is fair light. It looks a little bit too pinky toned for me, 
But I'm going to give it a go and see if I can make it work. I really hope I don't have to still mix shades. But very exciting that they're adding new shades to the line. Do you know what? This might actually work. It's not coming out as pink toned on my skin as I thought it would. I take that back a little bit. I've just done my whole face. And when I look in the mirror, my face, my neck is definitely more like yellow toned than my face. Which is a bit annoying, but... I think once you put bronzer and stuff on, it, it will probably be fine. I just got to Gleam and picked myself up some Leon for lunch. So we're gonna have like an ET meeting. We all agreed with it's a 12 o'clock meeting. You have to have food in it. It's just ridiculous. So we're gonna chat about plans for this year. I'm very excited. Feeling like I'm not gonna cry this time, which is gonna be a big achievement. I'm actually feeling quite excited about it. So I will chat to you after. <laughs> Look at this genius contraption. Oh. It's a hot water bottle where I need to see the tie bit. That's what makes it clever. <gasps> I love it. For all your period pain needs. <laughs> this is the PO box room. We will have our photos. This is my box. So I've done it quite recently, but let me see what's in here. Look how gorgeous yeah. this diptyque candle is. Okay, I'm home and it's three o'clock and um, I'm a bit tired from, from the journey, if I'm honest. <laughs> which is a bit frustrating because obviously normally I don't get tired from a tube journey. But I'm just having a little rest. I'm having some minstrels to give me some little sugar rush. Um, I'm going to spend this afternoon checking my emails that I haven't checked this morning. I'm doing a bit of work and then I'll check back in with you because tonight we are going out again. Okay, I'm ready to head out. We are going to the Royal Albert Hall, which I'm so excited because I don't go there enough. It's such an amazing venue. And we're going to see Cirque du Soleil. We were invited to the premiere. I think this one is called Totem. So I think it's a new one. Um, they like change the Cirque du Soleil kind of thing all the time. It's something to do with the turtle. I can't remember, but I will let you know afterwards how it is. So we're gonna drive there. And I'm wearing this Topshop shirt. It's kind of like semi-smart at the Royal Albert Hall, but I'm just wearing jeans and I'll put some boots on. It is a red carpet, but I'm not going on the red carpet, thank God. So I don't really have to worry about that. Um, I've just been making some mac and cheese downstairs for us to eat beforehand. Um, we don't want to eat out tonight because we ate out last night when we went to the theatre. So we've got two more HelloFresh meals, which we're gonna have tomorrow night and Friday night. So yeah, looking forward to another night at the theatre. Apparently Harry and Meghan are going tonight. I had no idea this was such a big thing. I'm like so underdressed. Also, I'm not actually wearing this coat. It's gonna be under my coat. I literally look like my dad right now. So I think it's a pretty big like VIP thing tonight. Very exciting. Have you ever seen Cirque du Soleil before, by the way? No. <gasps> Rich has never been at all. I've been to quite a few of the other ones, but this one sounds great. So I'm excited. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable tonight. Um, every now and again, my stomach gets really, really tight and just feels quite uncomfortable. Um, and I found sitting at the theater last night quite difficult. So I'm hoping I'll be okay. But to be honest, if Megan's there, she, you know, she'll be suffering the same as me. She'll probably be in a royal box though. But you know, if she can do it, I can do it. <laughs> also, I wanted to quickly update you on the meeting today. It was so good, so much more positive than the last meeting. I'm really glad if you ever do a meeting that's like disastrous and you come out feeling really negative, just redo it because it worked a treat. We sat down and I kind of talked through my plans for the year and how I feel about everything and I feel so much more positive now. So it was a really good meeting. We're here, the red carpet's going on in there. Very happy to be on this side of things, not gonna lie. Look at this beauty. So, 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 so good. One, I just love the Royal Albert Hall, amazing venue. Two, I've seen three, I think, different types of Cirque du Soleil's um, and that was by far the best one. It was all based around like the ocean and there weren't too many of like the quirky bits in between. There were just lots of like different acts and it was so good. I've just told my whole family to put tickets. Highly recommend it. I did have a little bit of a wobble halfway through the first half, um, which was very strange. I told you guys before that I wasn't feeling that well and I just found myself like suddenly, my stomach was hurting so much, like it felt so tight and I felt really like claustrophobic. Like I had my maternity jeans on and the top, everything felt really tight. And I suddenly became really like aware of my breathing and I was breathing really fast and I was trying for like 10 minutes to breathe in through my nose and out through my mouth. 
and then I had to tell Rich that I wasn't feeling great and I also became really aware of the fact that we were sitting in the middle of a really long row and I was like oh no I can't get out and I was getting really hot and when I get hot that means I'm gonna like faint or something it's like when I was in the cab and I threw up so I was thinking oh my god I can't throw up or, or, or with these people we were like third row um so I was getting really panicky and I don't know what happened I think when I realized I actually couldn't get out I just was like this isn't gonna happen and somehow it went away <laughs> thankfully um and then it was quite soon it was the interval and I really enjoyed the second half so that was really strange and quite scary it was very like panicky but apart from that had such a great time Rich really good highly recommend it you loved it yeah especially all the trapeze you loved those guys and the hoops yeah they're so strong. Their upper body was insane. Morning. Um, I am rushing out the door because I'm running a little bit late. First stop is High Street Ken. Having a really nice day in town with my mum today, which I'm looking forward to. Um, we are going to Seraphine, which is a maternity wear brand. They invited me in for a little like try-on shopping spree session. So I can't wait. Gonna get some new maternity clothes, and I thought I'd bring my mum along to um like have a look at what I'm trying on. I um, haven't been to her High Street Ken for a long time, so we're gonna jump on the tube to head over there. I'm in the store, it's absolutely huge. There's so much stuff in here, and I've picked out some pieces to try on, some like dresses and tops, some loungewear, a coat. I've gone a bit out of my comfort zone and I'm trying on a dress. It's actually very comfortable because it's kind of stretchy material. Don't know what bra I'd wear, but very nice. This is also a really nice top. It's grey, it's very soft, it's got pink stars down the side and then it's got these buttons so you can pop them or unpop them depending on how big your bump grows. This is one of my faves so far. It's like a loungewear <coughs> jumper but it's got this really clever design so it goes across like this um, so it's so comfortable. I really love this. We've also got loads of accessories in here. This one in particular I think is very clever. It's like a top which you can put the baby inside of and do like skin to skin at the beginning, which I think is very clever. We've just finished up at Wagon Mama's, had a quick lunch, um, and now we're going to the organic pharmacy. They invited me in, I asked if I could bring my mum along, um, for one of their health assessments. They either do like 90 minute appointments or an express 30 minute one, so we're doing the express one. And you basically meet with a homeopath and they give you like a consultation and I think a scan and check your like hormone levels and if you're on the right supplements, if you've got any kind of imbalance on like iron levels or anything like that. So interesting my mum's very into this kind of thing so we'll see what they say they're gonna say that she's like super healthy and has great skin and i'm probably gonna leave with like a hundred but we'll see okay we're heading in let's hope there's nothing terribly wrong with us very interesting I'll tell you guys about it when I get home I've just popped into Maria Tash to get my earring removed I went to the GP to check it wasn't infected so they're gonna remove it and I'm just gonna keep an eye on it and um, I don't know what went wrong with this piercing I think maybe it was pierced too low when I got it done in New York but I'm gonna keep the earring and then one day maybe I'll get a third piercing on this lobe and use the little earring there so the health assessment thing was really interesting actually you only had 30 minute session it's the long one that kind of shows you all your different hormone levels and stuff like that so if you're into that kind of thing I imagine that one's really in-depth this is more of a quicker thing but they put on this like fancy machinery they like tested my energy levels and um basically I'm pretty healthy I'm pretty well balanced my um stress levels are quite high um and my hydration is quite low so i need to drink more water she said i could probably do with exercising more which i kind of knew um my serotonin is very high but we think that's because i'm pregnant and yeah it was very it was very interesting she was very impressed with how young my mom looked um yeah she kept saying my mom was an inspiration i told you she's such a teacher's pet when it comes to like health stuff i'm gonna do some work i'm i want to show you what i got from seraphine i also picked up some products from Kiehl's but I'm really worried that this video is going to be very long I've never attempted to vlog an entire week before and I just know it's going to be so long so maybe I'll show you later maybe I'll show you tomorrow once I've edited this and seen how long it is I'll let you know so I went to Liberty um, to get my piercing taken out I also got my brows done by Blink Brow Gel who I love I also wanted to top up my 
Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, which I love. I actually got the one with SPF this time, which I've never used before, but I love that moisturiser. And then I got a couple of products inspired by Anna's skincare yearly favourites. We usually like the same skincare. So I got these on her recommendation. The Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence. She always talks about this as like a little um, toner essence thing. And then this cleanser, which I had never heard of. Um, the Kentella Skin Calming Facial Cleanser. She said it's like a mix between the Glossier a milky jelly cleanser and like the Oscar Renaissance cleanser and it's very gentle um fragrance free and stuff so um I think it's fragrance free but it's for sensitive skin so I'm definitely looking forward to trying that thanks Anna and they gave us some samples which I just realized my mum forgot to take let me quickly show you some things I got from Seraphine so this coat I actually bought um they gifted me the rest of the items but this coat I bought myself um, and it's so nice. It was quite pricey, but like a really good investment because I need a good winter coat. So this is gonna fit me this winter. Um, it's so soft inside. And then also next winter, and even when I'm not pregnant, it fits really nicely. It's like a long black parka with a really soft lining. But this one is also um, got this extra pouch bit on the front. So if you wanna carry your baby in a baby carrier, it kind of extends, um, which I won't be using because I'm having a summer baby, but maybe if she's still small enough for next winter, that could work. I also got a couple of pair of jeans. I actually really liked um, their under the bump jeans. I tried on the over the bump ones and under the bump, and I found these one more comfortable. So I got black, because I need a black pair, and then this denim pair, which I thought would also work after having the baby as well. I got some basic black and white vest tops. These are good because they, they unhook, and they've got a separate bit underneath, so you can use them for feeding if that's what you choose to do, and they've got the kind of ruching on the side. I also got a strappy version, which I'm sure will come in very handy. This looked really nice on. It's like a jumper at the top, and then this kind of star print skirt at the bottom. It's quite different to my usual style, but it looked nice on, and then obviously this can pull up if you want to feed in it, um, but it's really nice for now and for afterwards. And then two more things, which I think I showed you in the store, this gray jumper with the buttons down the side and the stars on the sleeves, and then this dark gray jumper with the kind of fold across which was I think this is my favorite I loved this so much oops I'm running a bit late even though I left myself an hour to get ready this morning I'm heading to town for an event um at Space NK with Caroline Hirons and Kate Somerville they've like um linked together for a little blogger event so that's gonna be a nice breakfast and I've got a meeting then I'm gonna probably head home and do some work and put my hat on and my big coat that I bought yesterday because it's freezing the temperature has massively dropped got my baby on board badge ready okay I just got into town um a really nice man offered me a seat quite often it's the women who offer seats so when a man does it I'm like woohoo go men but also on the second train I just ask for a seat because sometimes people don't look up and I think you might as well just ask rather than standing there waiting being weird um, and the guy was absolutely fine with it he was like yeah sure sorry I didn't see you there okay I'm gonna go to Space NK now don't really understand how the breakfast is in Space NK but we will see look how pretty this breakfast is we're in this little room downstairs Ruth and Caroline are here giving them some tea so predictable I'm so predictable I know look look at this one there's chocolate milk <laughs> it's not that that is not chocolate milk well it's like healthy chocolate milk what's in it and we've got Caroline and you guys here for this nice intimate breakfast to talk skin so nice to see Caroline and Ruth and a few other ladies and um, that was actually a really nice like chilled breakfast chat we basically got to quiz Caroline on everything skincare which is great um, I'm now gonna head for a meeting with a really nice brand the girls from Neon and then I'm gonna get some lunch and go to Gleam guys look at these new candles from Neon I feel like this isn't showing the size this is my hand they're massive and marble and gorgeous okay so this is the one that smells like a spa that makes you relax is that right yes and then complete bliss so it's similar, like relaxing, yeah, you say chill out, like, calming, yeah. that's the one. And then happiness, which is like lift your mood. <gasps> I love them. So many layers. I'm home. Oh, it's very sunny in my office today. I had a really nice morning actually, and also had the most amazing pasta for lunch from a place called Coco de Mama. Uh, my manager, Millie, was like raving about it, so I went to get a uh, pasta like carbonara which I don't even normally have and it was delicious just putting it out there thought I'd show you um what I got from the kind of first few meetings I had of the day I got quite a few products from Kate Somerville I thought I'd just pick out a few that were kind of recommended for my type of skin if you have 
my kind of like more sensitive dry skin. Caroline raves about the goat milk moisturising cleanser. Kate Somerville's only been available in Space and Kate for a week and apparently this has been the best seller for that week. Um, it's kind of sold out I think but um, they let me take the little sample. Well it's not a little sample, it's the main, it's full size but it's like the one that everyone's trying on the back of their hand. Also the dry skin saver, so it's a moisturiser for face, body and lips. That's meant to be very good for sensitive skin. This um, Caroline raves about, we all tried it on our hand and it felt amazing, the Peptide K8 power cream. That's a moisturizer. And what else am I very excited about? After pregnancy, very excited to try the retinol. Carol, I said to Caroline, I was like, please, when I have the baby, can you come over and sort out my skin? Because I won't have time to think about it. And I don't want my skin to go crap. She was like, I'll come over, I'll give you a peel, I'll look after the baby. <laughs> so great. Um, the goat milk depuffing eye balm. Very excited to try this. Didn't get to try this actually at the event. I'm not sure it didn't get round to me, but yeah, it's like a roll on eye balm. That sounds amazing. Her goat milk stuff is so nice. Also, I don't normally mention in videos when um, viewers, subscribers like send me things to my pure box because I never want you guys to feel like you should ever send me anything or spend your money on anything. Um, normally they'll like leave a Twitter handle or email or something so I'll just like directly thank them. But this girl sent me the nicest card um, and didn't leave any sort of details for me to contact her on and I don't want her to think that I've just ignored it. So I just want to give a little shout out to a girl called Bethan Addison who sent me a really lovely card. It's very personal and heartfelt so I'm not gonna like read it out or anything. Um, but thank you so so much because she sent me a, so I'm like cute little clothes um, for the baby. She works in mother care. So thank you so much. So kind, so didn't have to. Look how adorable this little like dress is. So, so kind, so, and thank you so much for your like really kind words in your card. I just didn't want to put that on like Instagram or something in case she misses it. Also, quickly, I need to show you, I sh know I showed you briefly the candles from Neon. They gave me one. I can't believe they gave me one. I'm so, so lucky. Okay, so they come out, I think the second or third of Feb. Um, it's the first time they've done these like massive luxury size three wick candles. Is it three or four wick? One minute, four wick. They're, they're pricey, they're 180 pounds, but um, it should last a long time. Also, I just think the quality of neon candles are unreal. As soon as I've opened the lid of this, I can smell it. So it's the sort of thing that you don't even have to burn it. I'm, if I put this downstairs, you will smell it. Every time you walk past, I think the room's just gonna smell. It's probably gonna be quite strong. I wouldn't burn a candle like this in a small space because I think it would be overpowering. They said I could choose one, so I chose the luxury one. Um, it's the one that's got dark blue on the bottom. Look at this packaging. The other two have baby pink. It's just so gorgeous and oh my God, it smells so good. And what I like about neon candles is they burn very clean. So the top layer all looks like an oil and the wick doesn't fall off. I, I always like to trim it before I burn it. Yeah, it burns really evenly and just clean. No, none of that kind of like black sooty stuff. I love it so much. So um, yeah, this is like a proper treat for yourself or a gift for someone, but look how gorgeous. And then also when the candle's done, you could totally use this as like a planter or a vase. That's everything from this morning. I think I'm gonna start wrapping up this vlog actually because it's gonna be pretty long. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing like what I've been up to every day. Obviously, um, one, this has been quite a busy week. Norm some weeks I'm just literally at home every day. This has been quite like a glamorous week for me. Two, I've obviously just shown the highlights because there's no way I could vlog everything. It, it would be like hours long this video. So I've just been showing the highlights. There's been lots of in-between bits where I'm just sitting in my tracksuit bottoms on my laptop that's not really like vloggable. So bear that in mind. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk to you guys about. As always, let me know if you have any sort of video requests or anything like that for me to film. I'm gonna get on and do some work this afternoon. It's quarter past two. I've got quite a lot to do before the end of the working day. And then it's the weekend, which I'm looking forward to. So thank you so much for watching. You can check out my most recent video and also you can subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all future videos. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.